Hey guys, it's Josie and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I just posted a video yesterday, well, last night, but that was because, you know, I just got everything and I really wanted to make a video. Today, I wanted to use my vanity to make a tutorial. So, I decided I'm going to do a beginner's makeup tutorial. My mini fridge is what's going to be making a lot of noise through this video. I just needed to keep cooling down so that way the stuff in it doesn't, you know, get hot. So, yeah, that's going to be really loud. But, you know, we can withstand through it. We can stand through it and get on with this video throughout the whole thing with that. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, the pipe fell off my roof last night with really with a really big gush of wind so we don't have that really loud noise we just have a little bit of wind blowing around but yay yay so yeah there is sun right here see how it's on my arm i'm sorry about that i tried covering it with some of my clothes because i don't have stuff that can come down and cover it but it's okay it works for now all i need is my face to be plain so you guys can see it so yeah without further ado let's get on with the video so first i'm going to start off by using my elf face primer <laughs> that glow though <laughs> i just got i just got this um primer from walmart and it's really good i got the poreless one so it's very it has a lot of coverage primer is very good to use from the beginning because you use makeup and it covers up and it's better to start in the beginning than to start really late because it's not going to help that much when you're starting really late <laughs> so i'm just going to dot this all over my face and rub it in like i'm massaging myself and you know it's really this face primer is so soft and so amazing i love it so much you guys should totally get this face primer it's just an easy drugstore face primer that is amazing and i love it so much so yeah just keep rubbing it in and to your facial feel flawless. So now I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. This moisturizer came from the end of a 24 hour lipstick, uh, lip gloss. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips. It's actually really moisturizing. It feels really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this over my lips to make them fuller. So now I'm going to be doing my Instant Age Concealer by Maybelline New York. It's also a very easy drugstore product that you can get, which I got from Walmart, and it's very, it has a lot of coverage. I'm also going to be using my Orange Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to twist it until I get product out, which took me a really long time because I was confused on how to get the product out of this, which is why you see my confused face on. <laughs> um, soon I will be learning how to get this product out. Uh, it will take a few twists. Um, I just want to tell you guys that this product is amazing. You just got to twist it a bunch of times to get this product out. Once you start seeing a dark color coming to the top, you tap it and it comes out. <laughs> I'm getting really angry here. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's getting a lot. I'm getting it closer to finishing it. And closer. Ah, yes, I got lots of pigment on it. It's a very amazing concealer. So now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be placing it under my eyes. I'm going to put a line down and a line in the middle, like so. And same thing for my other eye. Then I'm going to put a little bit on my nose and over any of my blemishes that need to be covered. I have dark areas where I do my bronzer, so I'm going to be covering a little bit of that area. So that way, you know, it gets very annoying. So I'm just going to do that. That's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm just going to be using my Orange Beauty Blender to blend it in. Let me just get my orange beauty blender right now I'm putting it away <laughs> so I'm gonna use my orange beauty blender and I'm gonna blend it in like usual so now I'm just gonna be using my L'Oreal Paris in Philip whatever matte foundation 
This one, when I put it onto my skin, it does look a little orange, but after I blend it out, it looks fine. Um, I'm going to be using my Orange Beauty Blender like I did with my concealer. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on the top of my hand. <laughs> there was a cover on my foundation, yes, so I have to take that off now. So now I'm just going to dab a little bit on the top of my hand, like so, and I'm going to put it onto my beauty blender and dab it around my face. Right now I'm about to get shocked because I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so orange on my face. And then I was like, what the heck? But after I blend it in, it actually looks fine. <laughs> it actually does. So just going to blend it in and put it wherever I need to, like I did with my concealer. So now I'm going to be getting my Sephora Big Powder Brush. Oh, I put it backwards. <laughs> and it's very fluffy. I just cleaned it the other day, so it's really soft. So I was like, oh, I should use this today. So I did. And I'm going to be using my Fit Me by Maybelline New York Powder Foundation. And it's a really good powder. I have also loose powders, but I decided to use this one because I've used it all my life. <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm just going to put it under my eyes where I put my concealer and rub it down to my neck. And same thing with the other side. And then just, I'm not really going to overlap it all over my face. I'm just going to do it a little. This is really easy to do. So I thought, you know, I'd add this here. <laughs> so, yeah. So now I'm going to be doing my eyes. And I have two um, different tricks for my eyes. Yeah. So I already primed my eyelids, and I used the same primer. So now I have two different um, ways to do eyeshadow for beginners. Um, I have a really simple and easy way that I sometimes do. And then I have a, yeah, yeah, okay. Then I have a more advanced way to do it, just adding more color and more pop to it. But, you know, so... It's just, I just thought it would be easier to do. So the easy way, I'm just going to start with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer using in the shade Sunny. And I'm going to, it's really easy and it's, this is like a really, <laughs> this is like a really pretty color for eyeshadow. And I use my bronzer and my highlight all the time for my eyeshadow, especially as a beginner I did. So I'm going to be getting my blending brush and putting it into the crease of my eye focusing more onto the outer crease so but I will be putting it in the middle of I mean in the inner crease of my eye too just less of it so that way you know it's mainly on the outer crease and I don't look like I have a black eye so yeah that, that's what I'm going to be doing right now that's what I am doing right now and yeah so this one's really easy so I thought yeah <laughs> So after I do this, and take forever doing it, so that's how it turns out, the bronzer. And I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more, make it look more natural. Sorry, my nose is getting really stuffy. Nah. <laughs> now I'm going to be using my Essence Contour Palette and the highlight color. I'm going to be getting my pinky, rubbing it, and putting it on the center of my eye to add some shimmer to it and add some glow. I thought it'd look really pretty like that. So that is what I'm doing now. And you can use your pinky when doing makeup. You can use your fingers when doing makeup. There is no rules that you to say that you have to use brushes. Now I'm just going to blend it all out so that way you don't see any fake lines or anything. Now the second step, if you want to get more difficult, is I'm going to be using my MAC palette, but any palette works. Just get a darker shade, and this is the shade I'm using. This is called Espresso from the MAC Custom Palette, which is what this is. I made my own palette. And I'm just going to be getting this really small brush from SK, Sonia something, I don't know. And I'm just going to be putting it in my crease also. I'm doing little by little because I liked, I wanted to do light little shade, little shade. I didn't know how dark I wanted it to be. That's how you guys can do it. Just do it till uh, however dark you want it to be. Um, I did a little bit darker after this. It took me a lot of tries. So I am going to fast forward to the end. You guys know what you're supposed to be doing. You just put a little into the crease and then you blend it out with your darker you just blend it out with your blending brush and make it look more toned. 
Okay, so now that I have finished my eyes, as you can tell, I'm going to be going on to my eyelashes. And for beginners, I thought this eyelash um, type would be really cute. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Clear Gel Mascara. And I also it comes with um, brow gel too, clear brow gel, which I also will be using later on in this video. This is a really easy way to calm your, to like have a calm look, but also have eyelashes. <laughs> and it's very beautiful, so that's just what I'm doing here. And an easy way to do your mascara, in case you don't know, is to put it as close to your line as possible and then closing your eyelashes for beginners that's a really easy way that's how i did it in this video and i'm just going to be doing that to both sides of my eyelashes and yeah so this trick for the mascara is something i still use to this day but sometimes i do it differently like but this is a really easy way to do it and i just thought it'd be easy for you if you were just starting out to use makeup so now that's it so now for my eyebrows, I'm just going to be using the same thing I did for my eyelashes. And I'm just going to be using the eyebrow side. Um, and just I'm going to brush upwards a little to brush them out and then brush backwards a little. But, you know, however you want to do your eyebrows. I decided not to do um, color to my eyebrows. I just wanted to use this clear gel because I thought for beginners, I still don't even know how to do my eyebrows. So I thought this would be easier for beginners to try out just starting with the eyebrow gel. So that's what we are doing in this in this part right now. And I did have, um, I did try to do my eyebrows with color, but then I thought, um, I was like, nah, I can't do this. I'm really bad at it. And now my stick has color on it but it's okay because at least it's the color of my eyebrows so every time I put it on I will have the color of my eyebrows so yeah so now I'm going to contour my face with this essence contour palette and I'm going to be using the darker brown side of course to start off with my bronzer and I'm just going to be using this elf tilted brush and I'm going to be putting it underneath my cheekbones so that way I have some shape to my face and some color. And I'm going to do this on both sides. I sort of do it in a miniature circular motion to make it look more natural and more even. Then I'm going to be, after I finish with this. <laughs> so yeah, it looks more natural when you do them in smaller circular motions. You can even use a big brush to make it look even more natural. But I think to start off, we should do it the way it's done. So I'm just going to contour my nose. You don't have to do this, but I did. And my temples and the top of my forehead, I'm just going to contour that. Contour, you just need to contour whatever you think needs color. But right, at, right now, yeah. So now I'm going to be adding color to my face using my True Match L'Oreal Paris Blush. And this is in the shade Warm. I'm going to be using the same brush. And I just wiped it on my hand so that way most of the bronze come off, came off so that way the shade colors didn't mix. And I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. And I like this color because it's a really warm tone and easy to compare with. So I think as a beginner this would be a good color to start off with. Now I'm going to get back with my Essence Contour Palette and I'm going to be using my highlight. And I'm going to highlight my, um, my face. The highlight part of your face, the part that you highlight, you can highlight wherever you want, but the part that I'm highlighting is the bone around my eye, which is where you usually highlight. There is a bone around your eye, yes, and that's where your highlight goes. So that's where I'm doing it today. That's usually the only place that I do it. Sometimes I do it on my cupid's bow and on my nose, but today I just thought we'd start off normal and not normal, but we'd start off like small and do it right there. So yeah, that's what I'm doing in this video. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the lips. <laughs> of course, I have to make a lip face and a fishy face. So I just thought I'd start off with really easy lip color. So I did moisturize my lips, and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. lip gloss, which I'm almost out of, but it's okay. And I'm just going to be putting this on my lips like normal. And yeah, so this is how I do my lip gloss. I thought this was a really pretty, you know color and pretty it's it's a neutral it can go with anything so i thought this was perfect for yeah so <laughs> that is my lips 
Okay, guys, well, that was my look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, the eyeshadow, I don't know if I'm going to mention this when I'm voicing over. I hope I do. The eyeshadow is the bronzing part is the simple way to do it. You just do bronzer and a little bit of highlight to add some shimmer. And the dark color underneath the bronzer is the more advanced way if you want to get more advanced. Because I knew instead of watching two different videos, like, ooh, beginners. Ugh, but I don't want to do beginners. I want to do higher advanced. This is a higher advanced way, and but easier way to do the eyeshadow. So it's like, you know. This is what I started doing after I did the bronzer as my eyeshadow, with my, with, which is what my sister told me to do as, like, you know, practice. And then I started getting more and more into eyeshadow and doing makeup, so I added more glam to it, and so yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, please comment down below anything. I want to know more about you. And subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Um, I will probably be posting a lot this week since it is Thanksgiving week, though. So maybe not a lot, but I will be posting. <laughs> and just give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all later. Bye!